Last week, I woke up very early in the morning at about 5.30 a.m. and I drove out about 50 minutes away to a local state park here in Texas. It's called Brazos Bend State Park and I've been here a long time ago, about 10 years ago. It's known for uh, to have a lot of alligators, a lot of swamps and marsh type landscape. And I really wanted to catch the sunrise very early. And I brought my Pentax 6.7 with me with two or three rolls of Portra 400. But I only ended up shooting about two rolls. And I got there very early at the park opens at 7 a.m. However, I arrived at about 6.40. So I drove around outside the park. It has a lot of farmland and I got a... Because I was, I had Portra 400 with me and obviously the light wasn't bright enough to shoot with it. I did have my digital camera, my Fuji X100V and i got a few shots with that in the early morning it was very very foggy and i took a few photos with that So when the park opened up, I did get a chance to shoot some good photos and the, I think the light was decent. A lot of my photos did end up being underexposed by a lot and I'm still trying to master the Portra 400 which I have been trying to shoot with a lot. And it's not to say I'm not going to shoot with any other film stock but I do want to shoot a lot more of the Portra 400 so that way I don't have to rely on a light meter too much for like an everyday scene, you know? And a lot of these photos, if not all, I did notice that there is a little dust particle squiggly thing to the right of the photo. And I'm trying to figure out if it was my camera itself or if it was during the development process or the scanning process. I did scan these here at home by myself, but I got them developed at a local film lab here in Houston. It's called Flats film lab and it was my first time using them so I'll probably send in a few more to see how uh, what the consistency is like on their development because finding a local one here was very nice because I got them back in about two days versus if I have to send them off although I really love a film lab called Legacy Photo Lab in Fort Worth uh, it just takes too long for me to receive them back if I want to keep making these videos. But it's not to say I'll never use them, but finding a local one for now is very good. And I'm, you know, they've done a pretty good job, I think. But again, I have to keep using them and see the results. So I thought there would be a lot more things to shoot here than I thought. But, you know, I ended up with decent pictures. But... I'm trying to find a lot more of these local spots where I can uh, go out to, like ranches or state parks, local parks, to just shoot random things because I obviously cannot rely on just going vacation somewhere and shooting that like once every few months because I want to keep constantly putting out these videos and not only for the videos, but just to practice my um, film knowledge learning more about it and obviously I have to shoot way more um, frequently to learn all that so I'm just trying to find um, random spots 
instead of always thinking I have to go to these, you know, well-known spots or on a vacation to necessarily shoot things. And I'm trying to um, get that in my head to just find random things close to you. So those were some of my shots that I got at the Brazos Bend State Park here in Houston or outside of Houston. And I appreciate you guys watching. I um, have a lot more videos coming up, so please like the video and share with your friends and subscribe. And I have my Instagram in my bio on my YouTube page, or I'll just link it down below. And thank you again for watching.